Good afternoon. Welcome to an episode of Ball Fish and Dive Fishing. Here we are today on the Bristol Channel. Yeah, it's a Friday evening. I lift, lift straight from work, come straight here. Yeah, I'm fishing the uh, Cleveland Seawall. Yeah, at the moment I've got three rods out there. I don't actually have too much time here. It's probably about four hours, five hours max. Because yeah, the tide goes out too far and you won't be able to actually fish it. So yeah, it's about two hours up, two hours down, maybe two and a half up, two and a half down if you can get away with it. But yeah, I've got three rods out there at the minute. I've got the first one. It's on about a three foot pulley panel rig. And yeah, that's baited with, uh, what was on that? Bluey. So yeah, it's a nice chunk of bluey on that. And then I've got these two over here. One of them's on a, also a three foot pulley. And yeah, that's got a uh, sardine and squid wrap. And then on the other one, it's about a foot pen panel. And yeah, that's got the whole squid on it. And yeah, I do apologize if there's any wind noise. I hope it's not too bad. But yeah, it's a bit windy than I was hoping to be fair. But yeah, as you can see, it's nice and sunny. Nice evening for it. See a bit of a break in the weather. I thought I'd go for it. The tides were looking good. So but yeah, from what I've read, I've not actually fished this spot before. But from what I've read, to actually fish it, you need to fish over 11 meters. Otherwise, yeah, you don't get into the water. But yeah, I've got three rods out there. I'm gonna fish quite hard because obviously I haven't got a lot of time. So I'll probably give each rod 15, 20 minutes, rebait it, get a new bait out there. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Just hopefully show you a couple of fish. Right, let's fish this in. Yeah, I did forget to mention it's about two hours till high tide and then yeah so I think we've got about two hours fishing up maybe two two and a half fishing back down just depends how far out it goes and how quick yeah when I first turned up the water was a good 150 200 yards out and so we cast the first rod I walked out on the mud as you can see and yeah so obviously yeah if you're by yourself you've got to be a bit careful obviously walking out on the mud is quite dangerous so yeah you definitely got to be careful so yeah um, I'm only fishing pulley panels today, so I'm only using freezer bait. I didn't go get no worms. I ended up going to, um, what is it, go outdoors, and they had 50% off all the freezer bait. So yeah, I ended up filling up my freezer and got a load of bait. I will tag that, um, tag the little video I've done in here just to show you. But yeah, 50% off, I got 25 quid worth of bait and it cost me like £12 on something, so can't not complain. So yeah, I'm only fishing pulley panels, all frozen baits, all fish baits, a bit of squid as well. But yeah, there's one fish I'm hoping for. I don't really want to say it. I've never caught one, but I'd absolutely love one. And yeah, that's a ray. I'd love a form back ray. And I know there are a few coming out on the Bristol Channel at the minute. So yeah, that's a target species. Whether I catch it or not would be a different story. It would be nice to see a fish, but either way, it's a lovely evening. So I cannot complain. But right, like I said, I'm gonna sit down, chill out for a bit, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, I went to um, go outdoors in Swindon just to have a look at a few fishing bits and that. See, they had 50% off on the freezer bait. So I did I'll grab a few. We yeah, I've got three six packs of um, sardines there. Nice bloody juicy baits. They've got them that marked down as Joey mackerel, but yeah, they're definitely sardines. But yeah, they were 350 so half price. What's that? 175 a pack, which you can't complain at. Got some bigger packs of sardine. Three packs of those. 450 so we'll start at 225 a pack big pack of heron there and then yeah, i'll grab the last one of these the big blowy big bloody blueies that was a bit of a tongue twister i don't know why but yeah so it should have come to what 24 pound 50 and yeah it comes to 12 25 so cannot complain It's say 15 mile an hour, but yeah, it feels a bit stronger than 15 to be honest. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I've had a I've been here about an hour, I've had a recast on each rod now, put fresh baits out there, but yeah, the baits coming in search, so but, yeah, if I keep fishing on, still got a few hours yet, never know, I might show you one. All right, I'm gonna sit down, chill out, see you in a bit. Oh, well, yeah, one thing I would like to mention. I can't remember whose it was. I'm pretty sure it was on the Fish Hunter UK on um, Wayne's channel. And yeah, he was fishing the Bristol Channel and it's something I'd never thought of, to be fair. As he was casting out, his weight would hit the um, water. And obviously, if your weight gets stuck in the mud, it's going to be hard to, if you actually do hook a fish, it's going to be even harder to get it. So he was literally, as he's cast out, you tighten in and then pop your lead out the mud and then put your rod in the rod stand and um, tighten back into it. Just then when it comes to it, 
Obviously, yeah, you ain't stuck in the mud and you're trying to pull the fish and get out the mud at the same time. So you get out the mud first, which is actually quite good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was weighing on the fish out in the UK. You have to check it out. I did see this a minute ago, which I thought was quite cool to be fair, which someone had made. I don't know if you can make it out of the camera. Oh yeah. But yeah, I thought that was quite cool to be fair. But yeah, like I said, it's a bit windy. A bit windier than I thought, they were saying 15 miles an hour, but yeah, I definitely felt like it feels a bit um, stronger than that. And yeah, it's a cold wind as well, it's not ideal, but yeah, I'm not here for too long, so I'll just battle through it to be honest with you. Got about three hours, I don't know, what's the time now? Oh yeah, really, yeah, my watch might be stopped. The time is five past five, so yeah, we've actually only got, what, 50 minutes to high tide, so yeah, it's not long now. And then yeah, I've probably got about two hours max fishing back down, so yeah, I don't have too much longer. So yeah, I'm gonna fish a bit harder, keep sticking some fresh baits out there. But like I said, so far, two of them come untouched. One of them did look a bit chewed up, to be fair. The um, whole, um, half sardine looks a bit chewed up, so yeah, I'll put another half sardine out on that rod. All right, we'll get back to you soon. Well, right, it's about 10 minutes to high tide now, so yeah, it's pretty much high tide, to be fair. But yeah, no bites yet. Could put a few fresh baits out there. But yeah, not really too much happening at the minute, to be honest with you. But yeah, still an enjoyable evening that I've waited. Still probably got about another two hours of fishing, so you never know. Might catch one on the way back out. But yeah, still a bit shitty. But I'm not complaining. I've still got the sunny on. <laughs> but yeah. So at the minute, I'm just chilling out, watching the rods. And yeah, just enjoying the evening, to be fair. It would be nice to show you a fish. Even if I don't, it's still an enjoyable evening, nice to get out. But, right, I'm gonna sit down, shit out, and hopefully show you one. Well, I've had a stonker or a bass there. It gave me a nice little scrap when we got in close. I need to take pictures of him quick. Oh, oh stay still, buddy. Yeah, look, that's 32 centimetres. He's well longer than that. He must be like 40, 45 centimetres. It's hard to tell, but yeah, I need to quickly, um, I'm going to get in the bucket and chuck some water on it too, so. Oh, love him. I need to get him back quick, so I don't actually have much water on there. But yeah, he's a good 40 centimetre bass. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a good 40 centimetre bass. It's bloody hard to hold, he's kicking up, he's so lively. But yeah, get him chucked back. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, it's typical. My camera ended up messing up as I was releasing it. I'm not sure if I got the footage or not. I'll have to find out when I get home. But if I didn't, yeah, I did actually um, show you a fish. It's about a 40 centimetre bass. Quite a nice fish to be fair. And then, yeah, I just released it. But yeah, I'm not sure if it works or not. The bloody footage messed up. Now, yeah, what did I actually catch that on? That is on a squid and sardine rattler. So yeah, kind of complain. I've got a whole, I've got a squid with loads, that's about five squid heads all wrapped into a juicy bait there. I'm just about to bang that out there. So yeah, I can't complain, nice bass. So take that, hopefully there's a couple more out there. But right, I'm gonna get cast out, and hopefully show you another. Yeah, it's got rebaited back up, got a whole squid out there. Let's check the other two in a minute. But yeah, that gave me a cracking bite. I just happened to be looking over that way and yeah, that rod was bent over double. Cracking bite. And then yeah, I, did, I don't know, I didn't really think much was on it. I didn't really know. It didn't feel like much while it was out there. It went until it got down here into the shallow a bit. They actually put up a little scrap. So yeah, I can't complain. But yeah, one thing I have noticed about the Bristol Channel bass, the tail seems to be massive compared to like, the bass you get down on the south coast and that. I'm not sure why, but I suppose it's just that because they're um, swimming in stronger currents than that, I guess. Yeah, I can't complain, but yeah, I haven't got, yeah, I've got, actually, I've got enough plenty of bait. So yeah, what even is the time? It is, it was 10 minutes past high tide. So yeah, I've probably got about another hour 50, I think, depending on how far it goes out. I will walk down onto the mud a little bit, if it does go out, so, you know, to see how it goes. But obviously, yeah, I got myself, so I've got to be careful. It's going to get dark, and obviously, yeah, I don't want to get stuck out of the mud. But to be fair, from what I felt, it felt like there was a bit of mud and then it felt solid underneath, but obviously you never know, there could be holes and stuff like that, you just don't know, so you've got to be safe. But right, I'm going to check these other two rods out, get a fresh bait out on them, and yeah, hopefully show you another. It's about half hour past high tide. 
just starting to get dark. There's a bit of red sky in the background there. But yeah, it's about half hour past. So yeah, probably got another half hour. No, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. See how it goes, see how low the water goes, how quick it goes. But yeah, I've got um, not long but fresh baits out on one of these. The wind has died down a bit, so it's not too bad. Now I can probably say, yeah, it is like about 14, 15 miles an hour to be fair earlier. It definitely was. Yeah, so I'm just chilling out, enjoying it. And yeah, fingers crossed for you another one. And yeah, for the Bristol Channel and the high tide mark, yeah, this is quite good, I think. It's quite comfortable fishing. Compared to a lot of other places I fish on the Bristol Channel, yeah, this is quite cushy fishing to be fair. So, yeah, you have to walk up a track, you park up on a lane, there's like you like, park on the corner, and then yeah, you walk up a lane. But yeah, it is a little bit of a walk, but it's not too far. I don't, I don't even think it's a mile walk to be honest. So it's not too bad. And then yeah, you come up over this hill, and, yeah, straight onto here. You could walk a lot further up if you wanted to. I know they've got a thing, I'm not sure, I think it's called Black Rock, which is up there. And on low tide, you can just see it come out, and then people do go out there and fish it on all the tides and stuff, and on has a low tide mark. But, yeah, I don't think I'd be too brave to go over there to be honest. But right, so we get back to you. Well, it's about an hour past high tide now. Yeah, some of the rocks down here are started to show. So yeah, it's definitely going on the way out now. But yeah, not really had no bites. We put a fresh baits out there. We fish quite hard to be fair. It's starting to get dark, obviously, as you can tell. I've got the light on this one. And yeah, I've got my lights on the other stand as well. I thought it's quite cool. Two bike lights for the bike handlebars. I think I paid about five pounds each in Wilkinson's. Obviously Wilkinson's ain't even a thing anymore. <laughs> Closed down recently, but yeah, I did get them from in there. Yeah, they look quite good, I think. But yeah, but yeah, like I said, I'm fishing hard. Probably got at least another hour, I think. So fingers crossed I might get, I'll get another one, but if not, I've still got one, can't complain. All right, I'm gonna see what happens anyway. So yeah, the tide's going out quite quick now, to be fair. I don't think I've actually got that long to fish. I was thinking about it, I don't want to be going down there because I don't think I, where it's wet, I don't think I'll be able to get back up. So yeah, next time it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring like a steel spike, stab it in with a bit of rope, so you can pull yourself back up. Wouldn't be a bad idea, to be fair. But yeah, so I've probably got about another 20 minutes, half hour max, I think. And then yeah, I'll probably have to start packing up. But yeah, I can't complain, one fish so far. It'll be nice to show you one more, but we'll see how it goes. Right, switch sim. Oh yeah, that's me done. I was going to unpack the rods, slowly pack up the rest of the stuff and yeah, undo the rods. But yeah, if I get another fish, obviously I will come back to you. But yeah, the water's gone out quite far now, so I'm fishing in quite shallow water. And yeah, like I said, I don't want to climb down there because I don't want to get stuck down there because it's quite slippery and I don't think I'll get back up. So yeah, I'm going to unpack these and then yeah, call it a day. But yeah, I cannot complain. Nice like 40, 45 centimetre bass. So yeah, I'll take that new location but yeah you definitely don't have long way fishing here i think it's literally three and a half hours four hours tops you have fishing maybe on like bigger tides you might have a bit longer but yeah so right i'm gonna call it a day get packed up and then see you again next time so i hope you enjoyed watching if you did like and subscribe and i'll see you again next time